Materials, Properties and Changes Properties of Substances Change of State You should already know that substances change state when they are heated or cooled enough. For example, when we heat ice it melts and becomes liquid water. Ice melts at a temperature of 0 degrees Celsius. The temperature at which a solid becomes a liquid is the melting point. Gold is also a solid. The melting point of gold is 1064 degrees Celsius. Melting point is a property of a substance. A property is something about substance that allows us to tell it apart from other substances. This means that each substance has its own melting point. Boiling point is also a property of a substance. Boiling point is the temperature at which particles throughout a liquid have enough energy to change to a gas. Each substance boils at a certain temperature. For example, pure water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, vinegar boils at 118 degrees Celsius, and liquid gold boils at 2856 degrees Celsius. Boiling and evaporation. When a liquid boils, all the particles in the liquid have enough energy to become a gas. This is different to evaporation, which happens when particles on the surface of a liquid change into a gas. Most liquids boil only when they are heated. Evaporation can occur at any temperature. Properties of gases Air is a mixture of gases. Gas is one of the states of matter. All matter has these properties, it takes up space. It has mass. Thermal and electrical conductors Substances can conduct heat. You should already know that heat can be transferred from one object to another. This type of energy transfer is called conduction. Substances and materials that conduct heat well are called thermal conductors. Some materials and substances conduct heat better than others. How well a substance can conduct heat is a property of the substance. Metals are good conductors of heat. Silver is the best conductor of heat. Non-metals, such as glass and plastic, are not good conductors of heat. Substances can conduct electricity. Some materials and substances are able to conduct electricity. They are called electrical conductors. The ability to conduct electricity is a property of materials and substances. You should already know that metals are substances that conduct of electricity. Do other substances also conduct electricity? Reversible changes. Changes to substances. In a warm place, solid ice melts to become liquid water. This is a change of state. A change of state is a physical change. A physical change alters the how a substance looks or feels. The substance does not change into a new substance. When you put the water back in the freezer, it becomes a solid again. We say that the change is reversible. This is because we can change solid ice to liquid water and also change liquid water back to solid ice. Heating causes ice to melt into liquid water. When the water loses heat and cools, it becomes solid again. What happens when we burn a match? Can the match change back to the way it was? Sometimes the changes to substances cannot be reversed. We call these irreversible changes. Some irreversible changes turn one substance into another substance. This means that there is chemical change. For example, when we burn a match, the wood changes into a black substance called carbon. Dissolving Some substances can dissolve in water or other liquids. For example, sea water is salty because there is dissolved salt in the water. You should remember that the substance that dissolves is called the solute. The substance in which the solute dissolves is called the solvent. Together, the solute and solvent form a solution. When a solute dissolves, the particles of the solute move between the solvent particles. The solute particles spread evenly in the solvent. Because of this, you cannot see the solute in a solution after it has dissolved. We say that a solution has a uniform appearance. This means that it looks the same throughout. The picture shows how the solute particles spread when they dissolve in water. Why do you think the coffee tasted bitter? How could Marcus make the coffee taste sweeter without adding any more sugar? The coffee and sugar form a solution. The sugar will dissolve faster if Marcus stirs the solution. Stirring is one way to make solid solutes dissolve faster. 
stirring causes the particles of the solute to spread out into the spaces between the particles of the solvent more quickly. We say that stirring increases the rate at which a solute dissolves. The rate is how fast something happens. There are other factors that make solids dissolve faster. Have you ever tried to make coffee with water from the fridge? Why do we use hot water? The particles in matter are always moving. When we increase the temperature of a substance, the heat adds energy to the particles of the substance. This energy causes them to move faster and spread out more. In a heated solvent, the particles of the solute also gain energy and move faster than in a cooler solvent. This allows the particles of the solute to spread through the solution more easily, so the solute dissolves faster. Chemical Reactions Reactants and Products When some substances are mixed together, they change and form a new substance. This is called a chemical reaction. We say that the substances react together. The substances that react together are called reactants. The new substances that form are called the products. Evidence for Chemical Reactions Sometimes we can see that a product has formed in a chemical reaction. For example, when vinegar and bicarbonate of soda react, we can see that a gas is produced. The gas is evidence of the reaction. There are also other ways we can tell if a chemical reaction has taken place. 